Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with a brand new tech tutorial on the channel where we're going to get just right into the tutorial here. A lot of people have issues with losing data these days and I figured it would be really cool to do a multi-part series going over some of the most popular tools to use for recovering data that you might have deleted off of your external hard drive, your flash drive, your SD card from your digital camera or your DSLR, a whole bunch of things. This tool our studio technician is perfect for that. You basically take whatever your storage medium is. I'm going to call it, you know, here's my a random USB drive that I have in my hand. You can't see it. I don't know why I'm acting like you can. And this tool will basically scan the data partitions and try to find, even if there's errors on the drive, try to find the data on it. It's a very fantastic, it's a fantastic tool. I definitely recommend paying for it. It's great. It also has a bootable version that you can get, so you can boot right into a portable OS environment and just scan the drive that's right in the computer you're working with. It's it's great. It's got a forensics mode. It's got emergency. It can do raids. It can do a hex editor to see if there's even any data there. There is so much this tool can do, and I really want to show it off to some people so you guys can learn how to use it. So... I have it here behind this running right now. As you can see, I can't. <laughs> As you can see, I have all my drives that are on my local computer. I have a USB drive I'm going to plug in. I'm just going to do a random scan on it. I don't even know what's on this flash drive. I'm kind of scared using it for a video. I should have checked first. I'm going to plug it in. And it's plugged in. It should recognize it in a moment. If it doesn't pop up, you can also just right click refresh or control R. As you can see, my USB drive popped up right here. And this gives me all the data about the USB drive that I plugged in. This is a fantastic tool to find out. Actually, we even just found out I have an error on one of my partition tables on one of my on my Toshiba drive. Huh, I'll have to attempt to fix that later. But anyway. This tool is fantastic. Let's say you got a flash drive off of Amazon or Wish or Timu or AliExpress or from the local gas station, and suddenly it stops reading data. You can't save to it. You can't pull from it. This is a very good tool to find out if that's a fake flash drive or a fake SD card. But what we're going to do with this is you can. there's a whole bunch of options. You can right-click, and you can open up this menu to see a whole bunch of things. You can see the sector map, you can save the sector map, you can try to mount it, you can create an image from it, you can create a region, you can open it in a hex editor, which is what I was talking about before. If you open it in a hex editor, you can generally tell if, I'm just going to do it this way, you can generally tell if a flash drive does have usable data on it, because if you just scroll down in the hex editor, you just see all the data that's on the disk. Now... Obviously, apparently this doesn't have much on it, but you can see that there's data on this disk. Now, let's say I want to scan this and find deleted data. I would go scan, and you can scan entire drive, or you can scan an area. Now, what I'm going to explain to you real quick is how to know where the empty data is that hasn't been overwritten yet. So what we're going to do first, and it'll do known file types, which you can see there's a huge list of them right here. You go scan. Now, what you can do right here is you can kind of just let it go. As you can see, this thing is going pretty quickly. It's doing about 40 to 60 megabytes per second. It's doing fairly well, maybe even faster than that. But as you can see, I'm getting all the different types of data, and it's all explained right here what each thing is. Fantastic little tool. I really like it. So you can actually stop this at any time, or you can open up an I.O. monitor and see what it's doing and just watch it. R means I think it's reading the sectors, and then green is that it's, you know, seen it. This will tell you how fast it's going. So I was right on the money at about 40 megabytes a second there. That's cool. But you can stop it. So let's say I want to stop it. As you can see, it hasn't found anything in a while. So you can look at all these little squares, these purple, yellow, blue squares. They're all different data types. But as you can see, now that this little white cursor is in this empty section, that's all empty data that's never been overwritten that it can't find yet. Generally, the way our flash drives and things like that work is 
yes, there's going to be some deleted data probably up in these little sections that it found current data. But what you want to do sometimes is scan also the um, unused data and you can start it pretty much anywhere. So let's say let's start it at 10 gigabytes and then we'll scan five gigabytes in size of the 10 gigabytes. So we can continue. And as you can see, it just randomly starts right here going through this five gigabyte chunk. This is all empty data that nothing has been written to yet. So if there's any deleted data, it would probably be here. But we're gonna go back. I need to turn my speakers off. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna just scan it from the beginning again. Because <clears throat> I wanna show you guys basically what it found. So what I like to do when I'm doing scans for this to even know if a drive is, um, you know, going to even show me any data is I'll scan about one gigabyte of it. That'll be my quick scan, my quick test to know if the drive is good, if it's corrupt, this, that, or the other. So as you can see, we're at about 900 megabytes. We're about to be at one gigabyte. There you go. We're going to stop it. We're going to go recognize. Now there's multiple sections. As you can see, there's the raw data, there's recognized, and then there's this recognized. We're going to go with this one because this is going to give me everything. Extra files found. So generally the way this works is with the X, it's going to be files that were probably deleted. But as you can see, if you expand this right here, it'll actually tell you good existing file, good existing file, below average signature beginning to be overwritten by another file. That means that this file was there, but if you open it in a hex editor, it's probably not a zip file anymore, or at least part of it somewhere is overwritten by a different file, so it's going to be somewhat corrupt. We can open it. You can even extract it with this tool, so like this is a one million byte file. You can go recover, you can do an output folder, put it anywhere, and then try to open it in 7-zip or whatever kind of document file it or whatever kind of file it might be. 7-z test, you know, it's a good existing file. There's other files too on here. There's fonts, there's a true type for some reason. Um, there's executables from the multiple times I've used this as a Yumi thing. Backup, boost, auto update. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here. But as you can see, it tells you what the files are, which is really good. But you can also see the current setup of files too. So if the USB or the SD card is corrupt, you can see it here. So I would love to get more into this. I wish I had a corrupt SD card. I don't anywhere. I'll have to ask around some friends. Anyway, I hope you guys, you know, learned something from this video. This is, you know, a great skill to have. There's a lot of scammy tools out there for data recovery that don't really do anything. Our studio is one of the real tools. And as I expand these videos, I really hope that I can teach you more about better tools, especially for mobile. Generally, when it comes to phones, because I know I'm going to be asked in the comments, generally when it comes to phones, you just have to make the phone work and turn on. There's not really any exploitive ways to get into a phone and get the data off of it, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys learned something from this RStudio uh, video, and peace out.